My fellow Singaporeans have an important announcement to make. I am a quack pretending to be a lawyer. I am a quack, a lawyer of 31 years standing. For the first 17 years of my professional life, I was with two of Singapore's largest law firms. I was a partner in both firms. I am a quack lawyer, not only in Singapore, but also in the world. And I think I have a fairly good idea why that, that is. Because the police charged me with five offenses. In the last two years, I probably have been the most prominent quack lawyer, defending dissidents, defending activists. And of course, it is clear to me, I am a quack, quack, quack. What you? I am a number of opposition MPs. Quack, quack. So that they can make a difference. Quack, quack. We must move quack, away quack. from this idea quack, quack. of check and balance now. Quack, quack. You must ask yourself, who are the people who can make your lives better? Who are the people who can quack, quack. be your voice in parliament? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. To me, quack, quack. The, quack, quack. the choice is very simple. It is whether you decide to continue with a life that is going to become more and more expensive, quack, more quack. expensive housing, quack, quack. higher cost of living, quack, quack. Quack, jobs quack. not secure quack, quack. because of the massive influx of foreign workers, or you choose members of parliament who have your interests at heart. Ayo, with your history of telling lies and cheating, ah, then trust what you say or not, ah. So ask yourself this question. Is my life affordable under the PAP? They are a party now so drunk with their own big salaries, so drunk with their own big salaries, they think that everything is affordable. They have totally no regard hey, you face, ah. to <laughs> the common Singaporean who is struggling every day to meet basic needs. And I suggest hey, you manifest, ah. <laughs> if you ask yourself about affordability, you will realize that you have no choice in the coming election but to vote in hey, you manifest, ah. <laughs> a massive number of opposition MPs so that they can make a difference. We must move away from this idea of check and balance now. You must ask yourself, who are the people who can make your lives better? I come to you today from Potong Pase. And we trust you, ah? I was invited by a group I of don't think uh, so, leh. <laughs> from Potong Pase to come and meet with them to discuss about the cost of living. They had read my post on GST. And we trust and you, ah? They uh? were eager to I don't think so, leh. <laughs> the subject further. So I came down spend a very nice morning with them had coffee and then um, I've just had my lunch an early lunch uh, and we trust you are uh? I don't think so store, <laughs> which um, I always patronize whenever I come to Potong Pase on my walkabouts and you can see behind me is the Sri Siva Durga temple a uh, very nice coffee shop uh, location here but I want to tell you a bit about what I discussed hey, with the you're telling or telling lies, uh. <laughs> this morning. Now, many of you would have noticed the horrific rise in food inflation. All right? And prices seem to go up all the time. And, you know, the next round of GST increase is less than four months away. It will hit you on the 1st of January hey, you're telling facts or telling lies, ah. <laughs> And many people have been beseeching the government, don't increase GST at a time like this, when the ordinary Singaporeans are already suffering so much. But has the government taken heed? No, it has not. And I tell you why 
it is particularly unjustified. Hey, you're telling facts, so telling lies, ah. <laughs> For the government to be further raising GST at this time. For financial year 22 23, the government had a bumper tax collection of $7.9 billion, or a 13.1% increase. And despite this, it wants to go on and increase GST. Adding to the hardship. Hey, Lincoln, so I understand this thing. I document the facts. Don't make love with bobos. People rich are from the books. Okay. GST that has gone up. COE has gone through the roof, right? We talk about the open category 137,000. We talk about goods vehicles COE almost $84,000. Now, my friends, all these hikes have consequences. Hey, Lincoln, so I understand this thing. I don't want to text. Don't get lost with robots. People rich of Cockney Books. Don't read that. Okay. Bear the brunt of it. The costs get passed down to the ultimate consumer, doesn't it? And not only that, you have a government that tells you, oh, we can't rein in rental because we must allow the free market to. Hey, Lincoln, so I understand this thing. I document the facts. Don't get lost with bobos. People rich of Cockney Books. Don't read that. Okay. That is complete bullshit. My friends, there is no such thing as a free market without regulations. Right. And who imposes the regulations? It is the government. Well, now, the, the reason all this bullshit talk is about you want to stand for election in Pato Pase, like a general election 2025. Rental <laughs> is a big, big factor in the inexorable rise in food inflation. All these poor stallholders here, portions are becoming smaller, prices have increased because they have to grapple with the rental increase. So my friends, I think Potong Pase is the perfect constituency to test. Well, now, the reason all this bullshit talk is about you want to stand for election for in Potong Pase, uh, like a general election 2025. You know, <laughs> MP here, Sito Yipin, who is the champion GST promoter of this tax. All right? It would be great in this coming GE if. Potong Pase becomes the bellwether for the GST. Well, now, the reason all this bullshit so talk is about do, you want to stand for election in Potong Pase, Pase like a general election 2025. <laughs> and SMC, let Sito Yipin be the candidate here and let's see how well he fares. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Hello! Hey, we come to the end really there. Have you pressed the button yet? Subscribe lah. Okay, thank you. Subscribe. And also, press the button like. Yeah, very good. Thank you. And then, have a nice day.